everybody, today I'm going to be creating my dream board or a vision board if you prefer that term. And this one is in my Freedom Planner. I did do a review if you want to go check it out. A vision board is a great motivational tool to help you stay focused throughout the year on your goals. And it's suggested that you look at your vision board at least five minutes in the morning and five minutes before bed and as often as you can throughout the day. And the reason for that is because it helps you focus and really think about the things that you want to accomplish throughout the year. So a cute little thing down at the bottom, it says, enjoy the images and imagine leading the life that you have designed in your dream board. Visualize how great it feels, looks, sounds, smells, and tastes. So these are things that you just really, really want to accomplish this year. And a lot of successful people use vision boards. So I'm excited to create mine and hopefully it'll help me accomplish quite a bit this year. So I went ahead and I printed out a few images off of the computer and then I also found some images and some old magazines that I have that I kind of want to put on here. I also wrote down on a piece of paper, kind of like bubble map style, what I want out of this year. So I have like a guideline of what I was looking for so I wasn't just printing out random pictures or trying to cut out random pictures. I think I'm going to start with um, just laying things out so I can get an idea of how they're going to fit on here. Um, one of the things that I would love to do is to go on a vacation this summer to the beach, but my priority is paying off my car and getting debt free. Now both of those things may be possible depending upon a few factors that I don't know about just yet, but I may have to give up the vacation goal in order to accomplish this one. So it's just one of those things I'm going to have to figure out what's more important to me throughout the year um, and whether or not I can do both or just one of those things. But I'm going to put them both on my vision board and we'll see, you know, maybe I can take a, a beach vacation uh, later in the year. So vacation to the beach, get out of debt. I want to read more. Reading is like the one thing I love to do, so I would love to read more this year. I also want this year to be about family, so family is a big thing for me. I just want to keep focusing on my kids and my husband. I also want to eat better, um, get back to eating more whole foods, so healthy eating is kind of one of the things I wanted to put on there. I want to drink more water. That was another thing, so I put a glass of water on there to kind of inspire myself. And then fitness. I want to get back into working out, so I've got a few fitness things here. And then I found this cute little Hello 2017 writing that I'm going to put on here. Now I may add some more. my vision board as of right now the start of 2017 
I may end up coming back and adding a few more things. That's why I kind of left some space because, you know, at the beginning of the year, you always have these ideas. And then, you know, for me, a couple months in, I think of a few other things that I want to add to my goals for the year or, you know, adjust. I don't know. So I do want to leave some space so I can come in and add things if I want to come a March or April. Maybe, you know, I accomplish some of these goals a lot faster than I thought I would, so I want to add to it. So that's why I'm going to leave some space, but this is the start of my vision board. If I do update it, I will do an update video for you, but for now, these are my priorities. These are the things that I want to really focus my 2017 on. We'll see if this vision board helps me accomplish everything that I want to accomplish this year, and hopefully this inspires you to make your own vision board, whether it's by getting the same planner or, you know, creating one yourself, go for it. And I will see you guys in another video.